click. Hello and thank you for calling technical support. I am Kamla. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. I got a pop up on my computer and it told me to call this number. Okay, I can help you, sir. But first, you will need to drive to Walmart and purchase five hundred dollars gift cards. Well, great. I'm a Democrat, so that makes perfect sense. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your rideshare extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor: hit the like, hit that subscribe. Poor pay for. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah. Okay, okay, party people and weirdos, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so the squad has been depleted again. We have Cori Bush, Congresswoman from St. Louis, the one that's have healing powers. She could go around and heal people from cancers and warts and whatnot. You're a pastor. You write about healing through faith. At one point, you came across a woman with, quote, several visible tumors on her torso. Tell me what happened. Um, so at that time, I, along with um, a group of friends, we would go out on the street and just meet with people and pray with people and offer them food. And this lady came to us and she had these tumors. I mean, she wanted us to like feel them. And um, I just remember I put my hand on her um, and my hand just began to move. Mm -hmm. And uh, the lumps that were there were no longer there. And she was so happy and she like went on about her day. Yes, Reverend Bush over here was up in the primaries and she got shellacked. She got her ass out of here. Welcome back. For the second time this year, a member of the progressive Democratic congressional group known as the Squad lost a primary election. Missouri Representative Cori Bush was defeated yesterday by St. Louis prosecutor Wesley Bell. So two down and four to go. We got Jamal Bowman out. Get your ass out of here. We are going to show fucking APAC. Of the motherfucking South Bronx. We got Cory Busher out. Get your ass out of here. APAC, I'm coming to tear your kingdom down. And they are running scared now. You see AOC over here panicking. She's talking about big money. What I do think it means is that there is an enormous amount of, uh, of influence of big money in politics. Cori Bush's race was the second most expensive primary in American history. Jamal Bowman's race was the most expensive primary in American history. And all of that money was spent against them by uh, a, a big money system of super PACs and difficult to trace um, political contributions. AOC, shut up. We're coming after you next, too. Yes. Defund the police, uh, free Hamas, pro-Palestine, all that rhetoric you're doing, it's going to get you unemployed. Cease fire means that somebody sees a fire. It could be any kind of fire. It could be a big fire or a small fire, a bonfire or even a candle flame. It just matters that somebody sees a fire. That's why we call it a ceasefire. All right, so what else we have in the news today? Well, we have Kamala Harris, her VP pick, Mr. Timmy, Timmy Waltz over here. Now, I serve in the military. I didn't do the wartime. I stayed mostly in the States. 
I did my four years and I was out. All right. We have a lot of people who are lifers. I got friends that are jarheads and a lot of folks that's in the military, army. And there's one thing that we do not stand is stolen value. I've seen homeless people out here that say they're homeless vet. And you can look at them up and down and say, man, this guy never served. But I don't go and confront them because, you know what, I let them do their thing. But stolen valor is a no-no when it comes to the military service. There are people who are laying their life on the line, getting bullet shot at them, and come back home, and then somebody else is taking the recognition. Mr. Temme over here, we see his story. He says he loves to say that he's a a, a vet. It's just cool, but he said he's a combat veteran, which is not cool. He never served combat, and he's out there making statements like this. Hope woke up like many of you did five weeks ago and dad said, Dad, you're the only person I know who's in elected office. You need to stop what's happening with this. I'll take my kick in the butt for the NRA. I spent 25 years in the Army and I hunt. And I gave the money back. And I'll tell you what I have been doing. I've been voting for common sense legislation that protects the Second Amendment. But we can do background checks. We can do CDC research. We can make sure we don't have reciprocal carry among states. And we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place where those weapons are at. Little did he know that the internet is forever. Now we have this guy who was in the same battalion with him, and he comes out and say he's a fraud. He he abandoned us. You know, I mean, what the hell kind of leader does that? I mean, he just, as soon as the shots were fired in Iraq, he turned and ran the other way and hung his hat up and quit. Now I'm pretty sure that the Kamala Harris team has vetted him and dug into his past but there's some things that you cannot overlook, you know? Stolen value is a no-no. And he's walking around badass, like he's a badass. I'm a retired command sergeant major. I spent 24 years uh, in the Army National Guard. So when you first came to Washington, you were a uh, retired command sergeant major in the Army National Guard. So you were drawn immediately to... As a 24-year veteran Shaking of the National ass. Guard and the Red Bull Division and a retired command sergeant major, now, these two have history together. Kamala Harris and Timmy have history together. Timmy let Minnesota burn down over George Floyd. And then we have Kamala Harris over here was bailing them out. And we have J.D. Vance going to explain. This is a guy who's proposed shipping more manufacturing jobs to China, who wants to make the American people more reliant on garbage energy instead of good American energy, and has proposed defunding the police just as Kamala Harris does. Uh, I think it's interesting, actually, they, they make an interesting tag team because, of course, Tim Waltz allowed rioters to burn down Minneapolis in the summer of 2020, and then the few who got caught, Kamala Harris helped bail them out of jail. So uh, it, it is more instructive for what it says about Kamala Harris, that she doesn't care about the border, she doesn't care about crime, she doesn't care about American energy, and most importantly, she doesn't care about the Americans who have been made to suffer under those policies. Yep, partners in crime. Partners in crime. Let's take a look at how the city look 2020. While the city was burning down, the news anchor was calling for the mayor. They were calling for the governor. And what was Tim, Timmy was doing? He was out here with a heart on for the peace and the generosity, the kindness and the love that's been showing on our streets of, uh, of Minneapolis, St. Paul and across Minnesota over the last several days. And last evening was another example of that. We, uh, we saw peaceful protests across the city. We saw memorials continue to grow for George Floyd down on 38th in Chicago. We saw Beautiful interactions on the state capitol, where out of respect, the National Guard troops there told the protesters out of respect they would go back away to the building and just take care of those vehicles that were out front, which of course they did. Um, uh, not protesters at that point. Uh, certainly uh, neighbors and friends and agents of change. 
Beautiful interactions between the protesters and the police. Unbelievable. Now, here's his wife. His wife was saying the same thing about burning tires. I could smell the burning tires. And um, that was that was a very real thing. And I kept the windows open for as long as I could because I felt like that was such a touchstone of what was what was happening. And here's the governor talking about equity and inclusion. I think he forgot the word diversity, but here he goes. A society that does not put equity and inclusion at the center of it is certainly going to uh, eventually uh, come to the places where we're at. Uh, this is a moment of inflection. It's a moment of real change. It's a moment that those folks who are out there demanding this are, are not going to take a, a commission or a report. Um, they're going to want fundamental change. Under Timmy's supervision, he refused to order the National Guard to shut it down. Nope, he's out there, Let just let it burn. And then here we have Kamala Harris proudly with the Minnesota Freedom Fund. Look at her. This is her tweet here. And she bailed a few people out like this guy here. Well, having been jailed on uh, domestic violence charges, uh, George Howard posted an $11,500 bail. He did it with the support of the Minnesota Freedom Fund. Now, one of those bailed out was George Howard, August the 6th. A few weeks later, there was a road rage incident. Damian Ortiz was shot and killed. Howard was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. The Minnesota Freedom Fund acknowledged supporting Howard's bail. Well, there you go. A convicted felon goes out on bail, commit a murder, and he's charged with second-degree murder. <laughs> so they are partners in crime. They are both socialists. I thought Kamala was far to the left, but we have a governor who's further, further to the left. Golly. I can't believe he's younger than Bernie Sanders. He's about 20 years younger than Bernie Sanders, but he looks older <laughs> than Bernie Sanders. Unbelievable. I don't know why they picked this guy because Minnesota is gonna is gonna go blue anyway. It's not a purple state. You can't flip it. But you know, shit, don't listen to me. You picked them, fuck it. Now you gotta ride with him. Well, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you socialists, get your ass off my lawn.